there welcome everybody in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to do a 50 50 typography portrait typography is just a fancy word for text as you can see with this piece here you've got 50 percent of the portrait being taken up by a quote uh, from the beatles and then we've got rest in peace 1940 timeline of john lennon's life and so what you'll be doing is picking a character from history a celebrity uh, or just somebody that you have a portrait of and then putting a quote over the top of it as you can see this image is done entirely in black and white and so we'll be doing some desaturation as well. So the first thing that I'm gonna need is a base portrait. And so I'm gonna start with a picture of the first female vice president here. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna change it to black and white. So you hold down control shift U and that's gonna take all the color. out. Next thing I'm gonna need is a new layer. So I go down beside the garbage can, I hit new layer, and then I'm gonna grab the marquee tool. So the rectangular tool, second tool from the top, and I'm going to then pull the marquee over her face and because this is going to be text, I'm going to fill this in. So I'm going to use the paint bucket. So if you don't see, if you see the gradient over here, okay, you're going to click on or tap G twice to get the paint bucket to it. And then you need to go down here in the tool console to the bottom. You need to make sure that black is on top. So I'm going to hit these little uh, corner arrows here. Now black's on top. And um, with my paint bucket, it's going to fill that space in. And then I'm going to grab my text tool. So I grab T for text. Uh, I'm then going to put that down. Now remember again at the top, you want to change the size. Usually by default, it's going to be at like 12 point font. So uh, right now I've just bumped it up to 85. We'll see where that takes me. And two, I need to find a font that's nice and thick, bold. So what I've found is a uh, John Maria. Now most memes are done using a font style called impact. Uh, I couldn't find that here in Photopea. So we're going to use John Maria as a replacement. And then up here as well, if you need to change the color, uh, you know, I think we always think of colors down here on the left on the tool console in photo P to change the text color. You come up to the top and you're just going to select the white. So we have the high contrast. Once I've got white selected, I'm going to type in the text that I want to use. 2021. And the thing about text that I want you guys to become familiar with is, is that you have control to alter the space between the letters and also to alter the space between the lines. And so in this case, you can see there's just way too much space in between each of these lines. So what I want to do is I want to, first of all, select all of the text up and you can hit control T or you can go up under windows and you go down to character. Okay. When you go to character, you're going to see a tab appear above the layers palette or over to the side, like you see here. And we're going to be dealing with tracking and leading. Now, uh, you've got obviously at the top, this is a style name. You can change it to bold. You can change the font size here as well. And for tracking, what that's going to do is that's going to change the distance between the letters themselves. Okay, so if I wanted the letters really stretch out and airy, uh, you know, I just move that there. I'm going to use something that's just comfortable, so that should be fine. Next, I'm going to go to leading. Now, leading has to do with the space between the lines. And so as I, you know, that's too tight. So what I want to do is I want to pull these te this text out a little bit so there's just a small gap of space between the lines that should do. And then what I'll do next is I'm going to enlarge the text. So I go under edit, I'm going to go transform, and I'm going to go scale. And I, again, anytime you want to scale something proportionate, you're going to hold the shift key and you're going to stretch it out. All right, so that should do. And then what I'll need to do is I'll need to combine these two layers. So as you can see layer, and then we've got layer a uh, text layer over here that says first female vice president. I want to bring those together. So I'm going to hold down shift, select the two layers, and then combine them using control E. I can also go under layer and I can go to merge layers here. So control E or merge layers. And as you can see, that brings them all together. Now here's the tricky thing is, is that we need to change the layer style. And the quickest way to do it is to double click out here on the layers end. Now, this is going to be a little confusing for those of you first learning Photopea because you'll want to click on the label of the layer, and that's only going to allow you to rename that layer. What we want to do is we want to pull up layer style. So as you can see, my cursor is over here on the layer, and I'm going to just double click, and then layer style option menu pops up. And what I want to do is I want the white to uh, disappear. And the way that you're going to do that is you go over here to current layer, and if we pull the toggle that way, all the black disappears. And then if we pull the toggle this way, you can see, you can start to see her face emerge through the text. Okay. And uh, then I'll hit okay. And I'm going to need to adjust this a little bit. 
Um, you know, I can see a little bit of her face, so I might be maybe trimming this portion of it just so I can see get a better read on that. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm going to lighten the background, the portrait here a little bit so I can see the text a little bit more clearly. So again, I'm going over here to the portrait layer and I'm gonna then hit Control M, okay? Control M is curves and that's gonna allow me to, as you can see, I'm gonna just pull a point in the bottom. I'm gonna bring that up or down, maybe just so I can see the text a little bit better, okay? Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.